Welcome to the TIA portal, the software that gives you the key to TIA. Totally integrated automation from Siemens. This TIA portal is the application that optimizes all operational, machine and process routines. All of them. In this first chapter, you'll find out what this means in real terms and all the elements behind it. We live in a world in which industrial plans and processes are becoming ever more complex. More and more systems are being networked. The logical consequence? The number of engineering tools is increasing and most of them are different from one another. That is the reason why we already began several years ago harmonizing all engineering tools and combining them into one, into this very TIA portal. Thus today the TIA portal includes the entire program range of step 7. That's the engineering tool for controls and peripherals. This also includes WinCC, the software for the visualization and integration of operating devices. StarDrive, the software for the drive world, is also integrated in the TIA portal, as is the complete world of Scout or Scout TIA the software for the configuration of all motion control functions. This is how it works in practice. If you want to program your semantic controls, for example, the Step 7 engineering tool offers you the right performance package for any control and any scope of functions. If required, even with built-in safety functionality. And you can expect the same from the Semantic WinCC package, the software for operating devices. The TIA portal always offers you just the right solution. And not only that. In case your requirements should change in the future, you can easily upgrade to the proper performance package at any time. And StarDrive, also integrated in the TIA portal, is the software package for the configuration of your drives. Plus, under Scout TIA, you will find the matching program packages for motion control and the corresponding high-end drives. But why don't we take another look at how to use the TIA portal? As a general rule, the TIA portal offers you two different views, the portal view and the project view. The portal view offers a task-based mode of operation. If you select your particular task here, corresponding actions will be presented to you. In the selection window you can choose various options for the selected action. Now for the project view. Switch over to this mode simply by selecting the link Open Project View. Here you will find all the key commands in the menu bar and in the function bar below additional frequently used commands. Via the project navigation you have access to all components and project data. If you now select an object in the project navigation, the detail view will display relevant contents. In the main window, the so-called workspace, you can see each of the objects that you have opened up for current editing. And in the inspector window, there is additional information on the object you have selected and the actions you have performed. Depending on the edited or selected object, you can select task cards that can be found on the right-hand side of the TIA portal. These enable you to perform additional actions, such as selecting objects from a library or from the hardware catalog. Finally, in the object bar below, the TIA portal displays all open objects. That concludes the overview. Now let us take a look at how to work in the project view. Via the project navigation in the upper left-hand window, as just shown before, you have access to all your components and project data. Each device has its own folder here with its own configured name. You can change these names at any time and adjust them to your requirements. If you select one of these folders, the task-specific editor appears in the workspace. For example, the device view of a drive of a PC system, of an operating device or the view of a control. 
The task card on the right hand side simultaneously displays the matching hardware catalog. If you activate the relevant filter function here, only the components that match the device will be displayed. If you now open a program module, for example, the view in the workspace switches from device view to the program editor. And the instructions appear in the task card. This is the same for all objects and devices. The workspace, task card and inspector window always adapt to the current task. Via the object bar at the bottom of the screen, you can toggle between the editors that are already open. And if you wish to view two editors at the same time for certain tasks, simply split the workspace vertically or horizontally. Here you can also customize the workspace and make it as large as you need it. You also have the option to individually open and close the project navigation, task cards and also the inspector window. This also works automatically. In addition, you can also save and retrieve the configuration of the windows at any time. That means you can create your very own intuitive or also routine working and development environment, which makes many things easier and simpler. That wraps up this presentation of the TIA portal, its interface and, above all, how to use this convenient tool. And as you've seen, the TIA portal is an engineering framework for all automation tasks. It offers a uniform operating concept and enables a customized window layout. The TIA portal offers everything you need for efficient engineering for beginners and professionals alike.